Hey, this is Dr. Dan Purser again. Talking to your ear off lately, aren't I? Fibromyalgia is a funny thing. No one knows the causes of it. Um, really? I think they do, and they're not really talking to us about it. I think the pharmaceutical companies have some idea. We've done, been doing some studies. And we're going to do a bigger article and get it published. And our goal is to, pub, uh, to publish it in the Journal of the American Medical Association on metallothionine dysfunction and fibromyalgia. These patients tend to have really high le serum levels of certain metals, mainly copper, which causes inflammation in the muscles, nerves, joints, uh, and just really hurts to have high copper levels. And it's intracellularly, because the spectrocell results we get, they tend to have really low copper levels or copper deficiencies, which we found interesting. That's how we kind of figured it out. It was a metallothionine dysfunction in these patients. Metallothionine dysfunction, who knows the cause of that? It could be genetic. I think there is a genetic component to this. If you look at families, often the mom, the daughter, and the granddaughter, whatever, they all have fibromyalgia. Um, so it could definitely be genetic. Regardless, they need to take certain key supplements that fill in the holes for the metallothionine. Metallothionine is dysfunction mainly because of nutritional or, or vitamin errors. Uh, they're, they're nutritionally starving, the metallothionine, and it's not functioning correctly. So things like molybdenum or boron and other things that we figured out in our study really help these patients and their metallothionine dysfunction and helps their metallothionines to become functional. So they move coppers around and or, or cadmium or mercury, whatever metal is really torturing them, and they get a lot better. Their symptoms pretty much resolve. So it, we think it's a metallothionine dysfunction. That's the true cause of fibromyalgia, though probably deeper, it's a genetic error like, like GAD2 or NAD1 or one of those. We'll figure it out in the uh, JAMA study. But call my office if you're having problems with fibro and you wanna try this much more natural approach. I haven't seen it fail yet. Um, and uh, if you do indeed know you have fibromyalgia, that's not RA or one of the others, then call my office, let's help you, or email us. My phone number is listed in the email that you can uh, contact my staff, that's listed here too. I love you guys, I wanna help everyone with fibromyalgia. God bless and go in good health. The number one symptom that occurs with MTHFR is fatigue, immense, horrible, chronic fatigue or exhaustion. Number one thing I hear all day long from patients right and left, how tired they are, how unbelievably exhausted they are. They need this combination of vitamins, including um, methylfolate, including